Alright, so this is a completely different approach to creating a character, and this is kind of what I have adopted. Um, so I'm just going to go grab just a, a Z sphere here. Or I'm sorry, this is a dinosphere, not a dinosaur. I don't need Dynamesh turned on. But what I'm going to do, I would like to work in a a lot lower poly count than this. So I'm going to Z remesh this, turn this all the way down. So Z remesh, and that gets me this nice sphere. Looks pretty good. Cool. So this technique is all about staying as low poly as possible to get your form in. Right, less polygons means less screw ups, less chance for lumps. So I am going to make a head in two parts. So this could be like the, I don't know, the cranium part, and then I'm going to insert a. Actually, I'm just going to duplicate this sphere because I like how many polygons it has. And this will be my jawline. So what I'm paying attention to is how well these two spheres kind of mesh together. This transition and this will make more sense here in a little bit. I am holding down Alt and tapping on my mesh to switch, so I don't have to come over here, which is nice. And let's say, yep, that is good. I'm going to bring in the sides of the head some more. Okay, <clears throat> that looks good. I'm going to duplicate this guy again and then this is actually going to be my nose not my nose the character's nose I'm just gonna push that in so yeah let's say that was my character so this is like blocking out the character literally super super rough super primitive shapes just so I can get the idea of a character. And so I've got three pieces here and I could do this for the entire body. I will spend probably like 60 to 70 percent of my time when I'm doing it this way just blocking it out because if I stay nice and low I can absolutely change this guy and make complete changes to them. Like, if I have tons of detail and millions of polygons, I could not just make these giant wild changes. So, let's say this is what I want. Pull out his jaw just a little bit more. I don't like that. Okay, so. I'm going to go up here and merge all these together. So in my subtool palette, I can go to my top one and I can do a merge visible, but I'm going to do merge down and then merge down again. The next step, I am going to, where is it? Go to geometry and Z remesh this. That way, the polygons are very similar. They're this similarly sized throughout the whole thing, each piece. After that, I'm just going to bring this down some more. Okay, so it's starting to look like a head. Which is great. And this is very rough. So I would do this for the head, the neck, the shoulders, the body. And then there's a neat tool. I need to turn off symmetry. 
So let me show you what Dynamesh does. We've already seen this, but I'll show you the difference. So look at my topology, and then I will use Dynamesh. Notice how it has changed my geometry. It's welded everything together, which is what I want. They're all connected, but it's changed. Um, let's get a lower resolution. Okay, it's changed my mesh up here. What if I really love this polyflow, and then I wanted to keep it, but I wanted to weld these together, so to speak. Sorry, I need to fix his chin. His chin's a little funky. There we go. Okay, so if I wanted to do that, I'm gonna turn off symmetry, and then there's a command. If you press W, there's this little gear that you can get into in your gizmo. All kinds of fun things you can do in here, but I want remesh by union. Notice what this has done. <clears throat> this has not screwed up any, uh, any of my polygons, any of my topology, uh, anywhere else except these seams. It's created these stitches, and it's stitched it all together, which is great, but I can't sculpt on that. But then I can go to Z remesher again, then hit Z remesh. So now it's all one piece. I want to bump this target poly count up a little bit because I lost too much detail. There we go. So now I blocked out this head, and I can come in here and smooth some of this out. And then sculpt in some of these details. I'm going to hold down Alt. That way I can... Oop, let me... Forgot to turn on symmetry. There we go. I can come back in here. Why are you not working? There we go. Sculpt in this eyebrow. See remesh, and then it's a game of coming in here, adding in some detail, Z remeshing, and I have complete control over this mesh. So like I said, I could use this approach, put in all these spheres and these funky shapes for the nose. If the character had big round cheeks, I could drop in spheres here, and then the neck. I could drop in a sphere, pull it down, Torso, right? Stretch out, make a, a sphere that's kind of squished. And then do remesh by union. And I could start sculpting my character this way.